Hello everyone, my name is Eric Fowler and this is a demonstration for the Opaque Drive by Substation Onyx. The Opaque Drive is a dual overdrive. It houses two independent overdrive circuits within the same enclosure and each side is true bypass. You can use one or the other or both. It operates off of an internally generated 18 volts, so the pedal has double your normal amount of headroom and is inherently a little louder. And each side, we'll call them silver and gold, are meant to fulfill a non-specific set of roles that I feel like the overdrive has taken on with today's modern guitar players. The first side, silver, uh, pays a lot more attention to your frequency response and spectrum of your guitar. So it's meant for sculpting out your low end and also shaping your mids a little bit such that you hit your amplifier in just the right way. This is my always on overdrive boosting stage going into a high gain amplifier and I tend to use the exact same settings in front of a class A amplifier or a blackface amplifier on the weekends if I'm playing at church. It's an incredibly versatile um, it's an incredibly versatile overdrive circuit and the gain is very very natural and it complements any other amplifier very well. The gold side is meant to be different flavors of distortion that an overdrive can impart. I use this a lot if I need an always on dirt stage, if I'm in front of a clean amplifier and it's just not appropriate for it to be that clean and I just want a little bit of breakup, I'll use the gold side. I'll also use the gold side if I need like a searing lead tone and I have a high gain amplifier that's already most of the way there and I just want to push it into extra saturation and sizzle. One of the primary uses for a overdrive pedal here in the rock and metal community is to boost an amplifier. And you do that by taking your favorite high gain amplifier, setting it to the lead channel, and setting the gain knobs such that the amp is starting to crunch in a nice way, but it's not saturated yet. Then you place your overdrive pedal in between your guitar and your amplifier, and you use it to increase the level of your guitar's input signal to the amplifier, essentially forcing the amp to saturate. Now inherently there is a bit of a filtering process with this overdrive as well and I think the opaque drive is an incredible boost pedal because as opposed to something like the Ibanez Tube Screamer which filters out a lot of low end and really pushes a certain mid frequency, the opaque drive allows you to dial in as much mids as you want to accent that punch or maybe pull back if it's too much and it allows you to also cut out as much uh, bass as is appropriate as well. So when I boost with the opaque drive, I love hearing that there's not a huge change in my tone. The tone maybe gets a little more saturated and it feels a little tighter, but it's um, a majority of the boosting with the opaque drive is in the fact that it feels much better. However, the tone that I set with my guitar and my amplifier is only subtly changed and I think that's a huge huge deal for someone who really loves the sound of their amplifier and is just trying to boost it and get it a little tighter but doesn't want to change it entirely. For this example you're going to hear my personal 6505 plus on the lead channel it's driving a vintage 30 speaker picked up by a Shure SM57 very very classic signal chain. You're going to hear me engage the opaque drive and you're not going to hear a huge difference but what you are going to hear is that it's going to become a little saturated, a little tighter, and I assure you it feels way, way better to play. And the tone of the 6505 and my guitar is totally preserved. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, an overdrive pedal is just not enough to get that tight, modern metal tone. Um, a lot of folks, if they're using an amplifier that's a little more on the flubby or loose side, uh, or if they're using a extended range of guitar like a 7 or 8 string, they're going to experience this buildup of low end, uh, and an overdrive alone is not enough to shovel that out. So what they'll do is they'll use an overdrive and also like an equalizer pedal, stack them, and use both of those pedals in tandem to contour enough of that low end such that they get that tight sound. 
And you will find with the opaque drive, that's just simply not necessary. I've got this little mode on the silver side that's called attack. And what that does is it engages a very aggressive high pass filter that will shovel out a lot of low end and it will make any saggy, uh, saturated amp that doesn't have this inherent tightness to it, it'll, it'll tighten it right up. So I'm gonna go ahead and stack the odds against myself for this next sample. You're going to hear a PV Invective 120 on the crunch channel, which has a lot of low end and is not tight at all. And playing into it is a Ibanez RG7620 from the 90s. That's a seven string with not the hottest pickups and it's not the tightest sound. But when you engage this attack mode here on the silver side of the opaque drive, you'll find that it does get that nice tight percussive rhythm sound that we're after. <laughs> We have a lot of people in our world today, in our guitar player world, who don't actually use amplifiers um, at all anymore. For one reason or another, it's more convenient or uh, more in accordance with what the landlord wants if we stick to a modeling processor. And the opaque drive is totally fine in front of a modeling processor. So I've got an example here where I've taken a Line 6 Helix and I have placed a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier into a patch. I've put a, uh, the matching speaker cabinet behind it, and I have placed the opaque drive in the effects loop of the Helix and patched that in so it's right in front of the amplifier. So I am just boosting an amplifier again, it's just not a real amplifier. And as you'll hear in this example, it sounds perfectly fine. The uh, Mesa Boogie dual rectifier is notoriously a very flubby, fat amp that needs a boost in order to get that tighter, more aggressive sound. And you'll hear that the opaque drive does a great job of that. One of my favorite ways of getting a nice saturated lead tone is to take something like a British styled amplifier and to get half of my distortion from the amplifier and to get the other half from a pedal. And the opaque drive's gold side really does this super well. For this example, you're gonna hear a guitar solo that I took on uh, one of my more recent works, The Jump to Nowhere. And I was just after this screaming lead tone. so. The foundation of the tone is a Friedman BE amplifier, and it is going into a 2x12 cabinet with Celestion speakers, and I used um, this gold circuit to boost the uh, amplifier and simultaneously add some grit at the pedal level so that I get a really nice saturated sizzly tone. I have repeatedly described the opaque drive as a guitar pedal for amplifier lovers. You can plug this overdrive in front of any amplifier and you're going to get tones that are practical and sound great. For this next example, you're going to hear me exploring what my opaque drive can do in front of a random amplifier. The amplifier is a Quilter Superblock US. It is a clean, solid state amplifier and I'm just playing with knobs and trying to find a few tones and you're going to see how quickly I can arrive on tones that stack together well and sound good on their own.
This next section features some playing from my friend John. When John was given the opaque drive, he had never heard or seen it before, so he dialed in his favorite settings by ear. He played a 55-voiced Fender Custom Shop Strat into a two-rock classic reverb, so vintage guitar into a pedal platform. His gold settings were a dirt sound that he really liked, but his silver settings were something really special, and it's a hidden feature of the opaque drive that I'm very proud of. If you pull back some of the mids, you set the bass mod switch to attack, and you dime the gain, you get this huge sounding distortion that's very, very pleasant. It reminds me of vintage amplifiers that are breaking up. It's very, very touch responsive too. I hope you have found this video informative, and hopefully I've convinced you to look into purchasing an opaque drive for yourself. It's been a labor of love designing these things and putting them together, and I'm really, really excited to see this tool that I have had for so long and I've cherished for so long in the hands of other players. If you're interested in getting an opaque drive, be sure to check out my website, www.substationonyx.com, for more details. Hopefully it ends your tone hunt like it ended mine.